Hi everyone, my name is Dr. Edelman. I'll be your professor in EDP 4275, Assessment, Evaluation, and Diagnosis of the Young Child. So this is an assessment course, and it is very content heavy with specific assessment practices. So I am going to support you on your journey through learning more about these assessment practices, but just know that I, uh, I know that a lot of you are new to assessment, and uh, just remind yourself that assessment is not always easy, so you'll, it'll take some uh, learning, some practice, and a learning curve to finally get some of these practices, because it's not something that is uh, innate um, and that, that comes naturally to many. So I'm going to try and help you through um, and learn more about assessment in early childhood. So first, I wanted to take the time to explain a few concepts in the syllabus. Um, this is what I would typically do in a face-to-face -face course, so I'm just going to highlight a few things that I want you guys to get. Uh, this is a self-paced course, so the success in the course really depends on you, your time management skills, um, your ability to understand the content, and how well you listen to the directions and my expectations of what I want from you in terms of assignments. Um, so first and foremost, I would like for you to purchase your textbook. You can find the textbook information in your syllabus. You're going to need this textbook for several assignments. Um, I will be taking several assignments straight out of uh, forms that are provided for you in the textbook. So I'm going to need for you to get that ASAP. Um, in this class, I'm going to be using different tech programs and applications so you can demonstrate your knowledge through different ways. Um, just so it's not as mundane as other um, online courses can be. So if you have any issues with any of these programs or applications, please do contact me um, and I can work with you on trying to find a good resolution um, for any issues that you have that are tech issues. Um, my expectations of you, first and foremost, I want you to be able to access all of your um, content and all of your messages on Blackboard message. This is how I'm going to be sending you weekly video explanations of all of the assignments. I'm going to be sending out lots of course updates through Blackboard Message, so make sure that you check Blackboard Message a lot. Um, your expectations, your responsibilities for this course are you have to log in at least twice a week. Um, this is a six-week highly intensive course. I would suggest logging in more um, just so you stay current on all of the messages that I'm sending out to you. And also... Um, you need to respond to my messages if I'm if I'm messaging you directly within two days, um, and I know that you expect the same prompt response from me, and I will respond within two days, usually before that. Um, in your syllabus, you're going to find a list of academic misconduct. Um, this is an issue in online learning, so I want to be very clear that any type of academic misconduct is not tolerated in this course. If I find that you may be um, guilty of academic misconduct, I'm going to contact you directly. If I find evidence of academic misconduct, you will fail the course. Uh, you will not have the ability to make up this grade in a future course. This is a very serious offense, and I take it um, very seriously. <clears throat> this is the area that I'm the most strict in. So you might think that I am, I am responsive to lots of student feedback, but in terms of academic misconduct or cheating, I, I don't tolerate it. So please do not do it. Don't test me. Um, but any other issues, I'm very open to your feedback, so please do contact me. For discussion forums, I'm going to ask that you frequently discuss certain issues with your colleagues and your, your classmates, and I want you to follow a certain structure in your response to classmates. You're going to follow the structure of the dialogue toolkit, which is appreciate probe, snip, reflect back, connect, and extend. So this is the structure where it's going to give you more content to your response. I don't just want to see you respond, yes, I agree, um, I like how you did this, and that's that. That's not showing your knowledge. I really want in every step of this course you to demonstrate your growing knowledge, and that's how I am able to know that you're learning and that you deserve the grades that I'm giving you. So please do go as far as to demonstrate your knowledge and show me that you understand the text content, the supplementary content, um, and that you can apply it in your weekly assignments. 
Um, late work is not accepted unless there is a grave or compelling reason, which means you need to provide documentation. Um, in life, we cannot be late to most of our responsibilities, and I think that you need to start now because when you're in your professional uh, life, in early childhood, certain due dates need to be uh, adhered to or you can impact uh, a child and their family negatively for the rest of their lives. So I will hold you to all of these due dates and it really does hurt your grade if you are late because I won't accept your work. So make sure that you are very aware of all of the due dates and that you are working on your time management skills. Um, like I said before, I will be giving you video explanations of every assignment um, before the assignment is due. Typically, the video explanations will come out on Mondays. Um, I think for this week, I'll be giving you a video explanation tomorrow because I know that a lot of you are just kind of trying to get into the groove of the online learning. So this is enough for now, uh, but definitely look for my video explanations. I'll be sending them out as announcements. They will come through um, as messages to you. So please do stay on top of all of those. Um, in terms of contacting me, I prefer that you contact me through Blackboard Message. However, I'm very responsive if you want to contact my office or you want to set up a Skype meeting. Um, I also have office hours that are by appointment only, but I am at the main campus, so I'm, I'm happy to meet with anybody who would like to meet with me. And um, that's pretty much it for right now. I, uh, I look forward to meeting all of you virtually or in person. And like I said, if you have any questions or concerns, don't hesitate to contact me.